this tiny dot moving on the golden platter of the Sun is the Mercury, the first and the smallest planet of our solar system. The sky presents a wonderful scene from the surface of the Mercury. The sky from the Mercury appears pitch black, but darker than the night. At the Mercury, you will not get the blue sky of the Earth, but you will be surprised to know that the actual color of the sky is black. To be more precise, the thing we call sky does not have any color, and the sky is nothing in scientific language. It, in fact, is an indefinitely white space that does not have any color. Then why does the sky appear as blue from the Earth? Before learning it, you must know that the sunlight consists of seven colors. The difference of these colors, in fact, is the difference of their wavelength. The red has the maximum wavelength while the blue and the violet the minimum. The sunlight on entering our atmosphere strikes against the molecules of the oxygen and the nitrogen. The wavelength of the red, orange, yellow, and green is intense enough to cross over the molecules. So these colors reach the Earth, but the blue and the violet have insufficient wavelength, so they spread all over after striking the molecules. That is reason the sky appears as blue. Then the question is why not violet appears as in the sky when it also largely spreads in the atmosphere? The answer is the limit of our eyesight. The biology of our eyesight is more sensitive to pick up length of the blue color than the violet, which means our eye perceives the blue more easily. That is why the violet color in the sky remains invisible to the human eye. It is despite the fact violet color is present in the sky. Certain animals are able to pick up every wavelength, no matter how little it is. Like the honey bee, falcon, etc. It is quite possible these animals see the sky violet-like in this image. The seven-color sunlight falls straight on the mercury that does not have the gaseous ring around. From the mercury, the sun appear golden and the sky pitch dark. Mercury has no atmosphere but like the Venus, it also does not have any moon. The mercury has so weak gravitational force that it cannot grip any heavy rock around it. The mercury cannot attract any space object, nor it can force it round its orbit. The meteorites either hit the mercury or fall into the burning sun 35 million planes away from it. Why it should not happen since our sun has extraordinary gravitational force. The gravitational force of an object in the universe is proportionate to its mass. The Mercury is a small planet whose volume and mass is just 6% of the Earth's, but its gravitational force is 40% of the Earth's. That is why your weight of 70 kgs on the Earth will come down to 30 kgs on the Mercury. You can go the Mercury to cut down your weight, but the problem is you may not come back to the Earth to show the reduced weight to your friends. Even if you come to the Mercury to cut down the weight, do not stay here more than a day. Because the Mercury is more wonderful than the Venus. Here the days are very long and the years too short. Here a day is over two years on the Earth. The Mercury completes a round on its axis in 176 days of the Earth. It takes about six months of the Earth. The same Mercury completes its revolution of the Sun only in 88 days. Thus a day on the Mercury is over two years of the Earth, being the nearest to the Sun. The mercury always stays between the two extremes. If it is burning hot at 800 degree in the day, the temperature here reduces to minus 275 degree at night. The planet has to afford this extreme if it needs to stay as neighbor of the sun, the king of the solar system. Despite staying nearest to the sun, the mercury does not have any volcano at present. Yet they used to be there once, but they are dead and vanished. And for that reason, the Mercury is called a dead planet. It does not have any fire, atmosphere, or the magnetic field. But look at its cheerfulness that in neighborhood of the blazing sun, the Mercury has ice lakes on its edges. Yes, there are no volcanoes on the Mercury, but certainly ice is. But where? Almost the same place where it exists on the Earth. In 1991, when the radars detected the possibility of ice on the Mercury, it boggled mind of the scientists. They were surprised to learn about the ice in a tiny planet right in front of the sun. How it came? Then millions of dollars were spent to verify this fact. The NASA space mission Messenger in 2012 sent pictures that proved existence of ice on the Mercury. This fact created great excitement among the researchers of the space science. The ice existed in deep pits on the north of the Mercury. 
These were the sites where the sunlight did not reach over the millions of years. These pits had been in the dark since the time immemorial. That was why the ice remained unaffected by the sunlight and the heat. The discovery of ice rekindled the hope of those looking for life anywhere in the planets. Many of them also thought of presence of any life cell, germ, amoeba, bacteria, etc. in the layers of this ice. But presence of life on the Mercury could not be verified by NASA missions, the Mariner and the Messenger. After 21 years of research, the Mariner 10 has retired and now is moving uselessly on its orbit around the Sun. But the second mission, the Messenger, that was a robotic spacecraft. After research around the Mercury and sending its excellent pictures for four years ended itself by crashing on the Mercury in April 2015. Whatever information of the Mercury available today are credited to the pictures sent by the Messenger. Many missions have been sent and further are also being sent to the Mercury following these two missions. In front of the blazing, boiling and inflamed sun, life could not be detected on the tiny planet, Mercury, but the ice was discovered on it. But the question arises where from this ice came here? The answer is, from the same source, the Earth had. Then how did the Earth get the ice? Why is a lunatic planning to erect a sheet around the sun and how it is possible, and what is this plan? Through the sun, we will lead you to a planet where the man is actually about to reach. 